guys, so I've been getting a ton of comments to check out Francis, and all I know about him is that he got folded like a chair in the boxing ring. But I might be seeing something else in his own sport. That's right, the MMA Octagon. So let's check out Board Film and see what they have on the Predator. Francis and Gun. Obviously, that chin figures to be tested here tonight against Francis and Gun. And the uppercut. The Predator. In the MMA. In gun. I would have not been able to say that last a name. One in a million type athlete. We're dealing with a guy who's capable of knocking any heavyweight unconscious with one punch that connects. Oh, oh. So this was definitely before the boxing event. He's a striker, right? Whoa, he does look different. Whoa. That was him with long. Okay. Okay. And Ghani's success was anything but preordained. Perhaps it's easiest to start in his native Cameroon. Born in Cameroon, Cameroon, Francis was raised in the poorest of conditions, shoveling sand in the local quarries. Oh, Francis that's how he got endured big. grueling work to help support his family. Yo, that's how he got you jacked. worked in a sand mine when you were young. That you dug sand all day. I was like 26 years old, like when I understood that uh, there is no chance for me out here in Cameroon. And you want to talk about a man who persevered. That guy for 14 months, he made his way from Cameroon to Morocco and seven times got arrested and sent back and finally made it across to Europe. After illegally crossing the border into Spain, he was detained for two months. They will bring you to the Spain side. They will hang you to a immigration police. You don't care. You finally where you, you wanted to be. At age 26, he moved to Paris and embarked on his dream of MMA glory. Sleeping in homeless How does shelters he know what by MMA night is? and training by day. His story is just like so inspiring. It's incredible. It's a comic book story. The only thing that I want is some place that I can train because I want to become a world champion. He debuted wow. in 2013. Yo, he's so jacked. Yo, the guys are terrified. Also powering Benzina, Francis won his first match by submission. First time Sit. I was 27 and I went to the gym. I'm like, um, started do boxing and I'm like, okay, so if you need the faster income to help you get out in your situation, you have to do MMA. And I'm like, what's MMA? He quickly realized he was blessed with God-given gifts that could change the course of his life. The next one, I get paid like uh, 2,000 euros. Whoa, what are you happy, right? <laughs> yes. God-given ability to knock him out. A single blast secured Francis a second victory. How did, he, how did it feel jacked. then as you you're starting to live your dream now? He lost a decision in his first few fights, but it was a minor speed bump. It almost actually looks like smaller it's a now of than individual like right here than right? he does like now. Get to the next one, then the next one, then the oh, next it's one. Oh, an individual mission. Every step is a mission. He was this titanic heavyweight that was just KOing people left, right, and center in spectacular ways. <laughs> He's done. Damn. It was all encompassing. We're in this sport. This guy comes along. He started so late and started dominating early. All over the place. He focused a lot on his boxing. He brought in a new wrestling coach. It's going to be about staying at distance with Ngannou. You got to think his game plan was really. He's just going to pick him up, isn't he? Please pick him up. Taking no, him down, dude. Imagine ground. he just picked him up and chucked him. Was simply too strong. His hands are so big. Every time I shake his hands, I'm like, how is that a person? <laughs> I mean, it's, that? Like, it's like shaking hands with a brick, like a giant brick. They're just so yes, big. a giant brick, bro. Another overwhelming victory set the wow. Predator on a course for the UFC. Oh, this is in the UFC. Yeah, that makes sense. My birthday, I'm it like looks low quality. Called me. I'm like, guess what? I'm like, I don't know. Tell me. When is this? He was like, yes, uh, we just got your UFC contract. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds. When did he start? In the UFC. In the UFC. Anyway, what was his first fight in the UFC? Like first. what year? Fighting out of Paris, France. Paris. Paris. The Predator. Oh damn! He's UFC French. Debut. Francis put the sport on alert. And you're starting to see Enrique go for the shot because he's tired on the feet. And that's the truth. And Gano with some serious oh. power. Holy! Torted Enrique's face and ended the fight. Francis was pitted against undefeated Curtis Blades. You know, he only really come to the limelight in his later athlete's life, should I say. But I think that's that's one of the big. Yo, he looks different though. Doesn't he look bigger he now? Maybe being as big of a draw as he should be because his story that looks like is Joel one of the and most B. amazing things that you could possibly hear. Yo, that guy's scared. Yeah, no, he fell. He he fell one punch and he's like, nah. Mom. Mommy. Just a few good shots. Mama's face was completely mauled. Oh, uh, yo, look at his eyes. Yo, just quit. Just quit. And the referee said he can see. But he says he can't see. The doctor is stopping the fight. the predator. Yeah. Bro, how do you see if you have no eye? Yeah, I don't think. No one's achieved more than he has in the short time he's been in the sport. This string of destructive wins made Nangano a rising star. Chrissy. Yeah. Yeah. And he's only one of these athletic beasts that was found in the world. There has to be more of them. Just find them all over the world and put them in a ring. Finish. This time with a series of hammer fists. Like, it's crazy that people don't know. Some people don't realize, like, what gifts they have because in the situations they're in. Like, this guy just discovered. How old was he? Like, 12-year-old baby that looks like that everybody knows. a giant man. A heavyweight champion of the UFC, it means so much more for your exposure globally. Hamilton thought he'd be able to use his wrestling experience to subdue the Predator. I remember a time I've seen Anthony Hamilton this focus or this hyped up for a fight before. He's 30. He really does yeah, dude, that when does he realize that he's like a freak? But also wants to open up with those hands and see as much as he can do this that benefits him. I mean, he spent he's probably in his home country wrestling. just like still goes back doing grocery runs, you know, Look digging the ditches in, in the sand. Forcing Hamilton's arm behind his back. Does he break it? Anthony no. Hamilton Does he break it? A weak man. Don't break it. But wow. Oh. Man, this guy is super strong. Look at this. No. He has Francis it. He got it. Wow. Francis and Gunn. Oh, dude, I thought he was just going to rip it. You know, like, when you get a whole chicken and it you rip the clear. legs? Francis possessed a different kind of power. He's one of those contenders that you look at and go, oh my god. And he got when folded this champion, in the boxing ring. Wow. He had spectacular knockouts on his way up. The hype surrounding Nganu was growing. Number one ranked heavyweight contender he got paid. in the world. Francis. 256, 6 four. I hit 250 once, but I was six was feet. To watch the predator hunt his prey. And his coach, Fernand Lopez, the MMA fighter. Six four, man. Jeez. This was the beginning, the intro. Oh, he, you can see that he's lights, man. You can see that as soon as he got hit in the mouth, lights. Gone. No one's home. Is like a bowl of Cheerios. Cheers for now. Holy Angelina Jolie. When he was 20. You know, I mean, imagine that guy. A much anticipated super fight with number one contender Alistair Overeem was set. But believe you saw what he did to Overeem. K1 Grand Prix champion, dream champion, strike force heavyweight champion. Francis put him into orbit. Overeem was a legend. That's a sick resume, and then oh, wow. professional wins, 21 knockouts or TKOs. Yo, the only thing I saw knee, 17 wins by submission. from Francis is him getting folded like a chair, and this guy's a beast, man. It's just a sport, different sport. Perfect timing. No, it an uppercut that would make Mike Tyson smile snapped over Reem's head back.
Colby. Isn't Joel Embiid also from Cameroon? Had won in spectacular fashion. Francis what are they would feeding these guys there? Against the champion, Stipe Miocic. Dude, Dude. I mean, Sorry. if anybody else other than Stipe, Stipe's so tough. We need to just make a, a sports team there and not bring anyone over. Just have a ring there. Miocic was coming off his fourth straight first round knockout win. He's smart about it. Good head movement by Stipe. No, he's, he's just going to get clocked. Over. Most thought the power Dude, of what is, this guy's just throwing hands. Champ. Definition but of Steve throwing hands. Able to do what others could. Oh, no. Hit him. Hit him. Just hit him. Put Nganu on the mat and keep him there. Oh, okay, okay. I have fallen and can't get up. He's never been on the floor. How do you teach someone who's never been on the floor to get up? Nganu's ground game was simply not developed enough to combat this. <laughs> This is what we haven't seen from Ingano. Not developed enough or never been there before. How do you develop something that you've never been? Has survived. Oh, this was a title fight too. But his weakness was the ground. Stipe kept Ngannou on his back for five rounds and secured the surprising upset decision win. And oh, Ganu would lose zero. his next fight in similar fashion. Also, oh, oh, people figured him out. Oh, he's a striker, this not a pounder. would force the Predator to push his game to the next level. Jesus, he's a tank. Yo, he's a beast. Francis is a great MMA fighter, but he's been fighting for five years. Yeah. He just hits unbelievably yeah. hard. I can't believe that you said he got 120 or 1,000 on that I think you're like 120 something. I think, I think he should have just switched to boxing long ago. Wow. With each passing year, Nganu continued to morph his training into an all encompassing regimen. His hands are so big. Every time I shake his hands, I'm like, how is that a person? <laughs> I mean, it's like, oh, they use it's it like twice. shaking hands with a brick, like a giant brick. They're just so big. They use that audio to twice. Face Curtis blades again. The pressure was on in Ganu. A win would put him back on track. Oh, but it's this guy that had no eye. Okay. Would likely spell I wonder if Curtis is going to do this some ground game. This main event. He's going to get put on the floor again. Between Curtis, Dude, if he does another uppercut. Ooh. The Predator Shivers. And Ganu. But he told me that Curtis Blazes is... All I need to do oh! is get Jesus. And Ganu destroyed Blaze. And Ganu's powering in. Oh, this is bad. Defenseless, bro. Gone. Ciao. Get him out of here. He's on another level. Who's he 45 beat? 45 seconds. Because he beat Arlowski? It's not who he beats. See how he beats him. Oh, he knocks him out. out. Dude, he's so good. Cain Velasquez. Is that how you say his last name? Velasquez. I'm looking to wrestle by grabbing that lead leg and making Big Ngannou balance on one leg. Watching Ganu's right hand and Kane's head. <laughs> it happens <laughs> quick, but the uppercut oh, ends what? this match before it can even begin. Yo. His face isn't what hurts. Another Hold his groin. On the first round. Oh and Ganu was now starching people left and right. Jeez. In a much hyped match against Junior Dos Santos, the Predator pounced. Did you see Francis and Ganu not Junior Dos, Dos Santos? Santos? Yeah, I didn't even think it was a real knockout. Okay. He just blushed oh. him. I guess Look he looks he pretty big. He went down and held his head. Let him fight it out. Listen, Dio. that fight was over. And with that touch of gloves, we are going to this box with Toyo Tires. And then Gato immediately goes low with that calf kick and lands. The scary thing is he just clipped him. He clipped him. He clipped him, rocked him, put him down, pounded on his head. Done. 
Dude, they just give up after the first punch. It, it, it has to. You know when someone says knock it, knock him out, knock his senses or something? Yet another knock his senses in? Something like that? That's what he does. He realizes what a mistake is after the first punch. Holding a perfect professional record. Ten wins, no losses. This guy? Tenno? He's Tenno and he's the underdog. This fight would test and gun. Come on. Pushing him to his limits. Nah, I'm just kidding. It was another first round. Dude, cheat he, clap he literally out. throws hands. Oh, oh, it's all broken. If you don't put this out. guy on the ground, oh, just throwing hands at you. Holy smoke. So Francis and got it with his fourth consecutive. Someone has an actual handheld weapon, and this guy has and a Ganu sword. Finally That's how get it looks like. Shot to avenge his loss bra, bra, to bra. Stipe. These title yes. fights, man, are the best. And this is the biggest of the big. This yes. is the heavyweight title and the scariest contender against the greatest Show. champion. Right, fight. Right. Dried blood on the floor. Francis <laughs> has got to be careful to not load up. Rematch, right? And leave these big. He's going to take him to the. Oh, Unlike the previous fight, Nganu was better prepared to prevent any takedown attempts. In the second round, Stipe was blasted and sent stumbling to the ground. You know when you play video games and you think someone's cheating because they hit all their shots? That's what he seems like. The greatest heavyweight in the world! It seems like he has like packs or something oh like a bot dude every punch he throws he just goes in champion of like, the world francis the predator eight years after beginning mma training and ganu was the heavyweight champion of the world the undisputed he started at 22 on the planet and ganu and he didn't realize who he was time before a beef with Dana White put his career on hold. And Ganu oh, recognized his own market value. He walked away from the UFC to challenge the heavyweight boxing champion, Tyson Fury. Yeah, he just wants more money. To Good have call. your first boxing match ever against the lineal heavyweight champion, against a guy who nobody gave him any chance. Yeah. And to have the Las Vegas odds, like the online betting odds, in the last round in his favor it was incredible because it was like 14 to 1 at the start of the fight yeah. and at the end Wait. of the fight he was favored Gary won this, this though, fight right? was thought to be a joke only Nganu wasn't playing he he's knows. the baddest dude on the planet he's the baddest dude on the planet 100 yeah. percent. and the only person that has a chance a, a chance is John, is John Jones. Jones I can't show much of this top rank loves to abuse copyright claims but oh. essentially and Ganu outboxed Fury. But surprise, corruption awarded the decision to the oh, Gypsy King. Who do you guys think actually won? Who do you guys think actually won? Do you think Fury was just messing around and not trying? And that's why it was so close? Because he In got folded third, like a chair on the other one. The Gypsy King with a counter, scoring a knockdown on the best boxer alive. Oh, wow. Oh wow, I did not know that. Kindly, the ref granted Tyson Fury a solid 40 second breather before allowing the action to resume. And what happened in that fight was Francis Ngannou beat the best heavyweight boxer maybe ever. Maybe yeah. ever, right? Wow. The look on Tyson Fury's eyes when he went down in the third round from that left hook, he was like, Oh, Jesus. A one-point decision on the third card. Winner by split decision. Still undefeated from the United Kingdom. The Damn. Yo, he, he looks bruised. They know he won that fight. He won on one judge's scorecard who was honest, and I think the judge only gave him one round, or I think he should have given him two. Should have won by more than, more than one point. We wait anxiously to witness and I didn't even his next feat of greatness. Yeah, I didn't see the Joshua one. I just saw that he, like, got folded. So after seeing this, 
only Joshua's. a one in a million wow. type athlete. I think he'll do really guy, well in boxing. He'll get paid more. Of knocking any yeah, heavyweight unconscious with one punch that connects. Oh! Oh! oh. It's all Rosen strike is out. Oh. And Gadu out, out bad. Out cold. Holy right. smoke! Francis and Gadu, the predator. Definitely a predator. Nobody brings it home. Nobody. Wow. Nobody. Nobody. Make it so. Yo, I'm just gonna keep it real. But I actually enjoy the fact that he's not in MMA anymore and he's into boxing. I'm not like down with all that grappling and all that. I don't know what it is. I don't enjoy any of that. I like it when they stand up and fight. That's why I enjoy kickboxing and all that. And I'm actually pretty pumped to see him now in the boxing world because he is going to get paid more and I kind of want to see what he does. But he's 0 for 2 or those official fights. So he's 0 for 2 because Joshua and Fury beat him. All in all, like I want to see what he does since he has his punches be this strong i just want to see him throw hands now in the boxing world and see how far he goes i mean he would fought like two of the best i'm assuming in the boxing heavyweight world i'm excited to see more i want to now see the knockouts boxing edition i can't wait for that do you even see him belong in the boxing world do you guys hate that he transferred i'm i'm really interested to see what you guys have to say in the comments below but that's the video if you liked it you liked it if you're new subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one cheers for now <laughs>